Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today we're going to be testing Shadow of the Colossus on the PCSX2 emulator on RPCS3. So let's start with the PS2 version. This game is on those two consoles. It's also on PlayStation 4, but that version is a PlayStation 4 game, and yeah, it has better graphics, but we cannot emulate it on Steam Deck. Hopefully one day it comes to PC. So to start, go into Properties on the PS2 emulator, go into Graphics, and use these settings. On rendering, I'm using 2.25 times native, which is a little bit over 720p. Then when it comes to, well, in the display, 16 by 9, because we don't have 16 by 10 on PlayStation 2 games. Nothing here. Maybe FXAA if you want to use it. And I'm going to show you the FPS, the the resolution and the speed at which the game is running. Once into the game, go into Options. In the Aspect Ratio, make sure to select 16 by 9 otherwise it will be 4x3. And let's now get into the game. So let's open one of the save states that I got. And let's put the FPS counter. So what we got here is basically a 1440 by 1008 resolution. The game is a 30 FPS title. It drops below 30 pretty often on PlayStation 2. I might even say it's probably into the 20s on the PlayStation 2, if I remember correctly, but it was pretty inconsistent. So what does the 60 FPS thing mean here? Well, 60 FPS in this uh, part with the FPS counter means 100% speed. So it basically runs like on PlayStation 2. Not sure if you can notice, but there is slowdown. It's not perfect. It feels just like the PlayStation 2 version but it actually has a way higher resolution. So yeah, basically, that's how you do it. When I played this on PlayStation 2, graphically, it blew my mind. I remember it was the first game I played on PS2. And I gotta say, considering it was a PlayStation 2 game, it's insane that they got this kind of visuals. So again, remember what I told you, 6 FPS here means full speed. But as you can see, there are some drops here and there on the emulation side of things. It's at 100% speed, but at the same time, it slows down. So let's keep a little bit ahead to a more interesting section. Alright, so we're now into the interesting part. To say it in some way. <laughs> we want his attention, so... A few arrows didn't hurt anybody. What I've been noticing while I was playing this at the same time is that the game usually locks itself to 30, but then if you're looking at a wall, it goes into the 60s. So it's kind of a weird, inconsistent thing. <laughs> sword. And I gotta love how this game does uh, music. When you're doing well, you'll start playing very heroic music. If we're not, when you're not, it's just like hopeless music. Come on. There we go. Make it hurt! Yeah, but for PlayStation 2, I don't know how they did this. <laughs> it's mind-blowing. Come on. There we go. Now I can climb all over again. But as you can see, it's an okay experience. I'm not sure if I can lock this to 30 somehow, instead of having that variance. It's mostly when you're on the horseback that you notice those changes in performance. Otherwise, it's usually okay. It's at 30 most of the time when you're behind the Colossi or Colossus, I don't know how it's pronounced. And there's more, there's some parts, oh, this is the arrows that I shot at the beginning, what the hell. So there's uh, a Colossi that are bigger than this one. There's another one that gets you inside the water, so 
it's probably going to hard lock to 30 at those points. I'm pretty sure about that. But when it comes to performance, we see over 30 basically all the time. Not sure if you can fix the frame rate somehow. But it is what it is. It's basically 30 with jumps into the 60s due to how probably V-Sync works here. Maybe double buff at V-Sync, not entirely sure. I remember that on PS2 it dropped pretty hard into the 20s or even lower. <laughs> But here it's fine. So if you have uh, any ideas on how to fix the consistency, please let me know. I will be interested to find out. Um, let's try now on the PS3 emulator. Now we're trying the game on the PlayStation 3 emulator. So right click on it or left trigger. Change custom configuration. We're using these settings here. On GPU, we are like this. Audio like this, system, no, advanced. We change the RSX FI FO accuracy to atomic. That's why the webpage said. After that, I once again select the game, go into game patches, and I enable the 60 FPS patch, which is kind of a waste of time in this case. Disable Bloom for performance reasons, MLAA as well, motion blur, and we enable full pixel mode. And if you want, you can use the extended FOB, but it will cost extra performance. So let's get into it right away. Welcome to the main menu. Let's go into options, full pixel mode. Yes, we want that. So enable it. And I'm going to change the camera orientation of the, the horizontal camera. I invert it because right is left and left is right in this case. New game. As you can see, we already struggle in the menu, which is kind of a shame. Let's skip all this. It's compiling shaders at the same time. And as you can see, I with the bloom disabled, it looks it doesn't look much like the original. Because obviously that's what covered the port raw distance. But as you can already notice, we are heavily CPU limited. The CPU is using a few cores maxed out. And well, the 6 FPS patch doesn't seem to work, at least on this computer, which makes complete sense. So yeah, not great. Honestly, I was expecting way worse. But visually, it's way superior to the PlayStation 2 version when it comes to resolution. So, does it work? Yes, but I will play the PlayStation 2 version, despite the extra clarity on this one. It just doesn't run well enough, and you have to sacrifice the bloom, which in this game I think it looks pretty good. It really fits the style. It's just too inconsistent. I mean, again, you're seeing one core maxed out, the GPU is being utilized, but not with the highest frequency. And RPCS3 has always been like that, that likes using CPU. It's way harder to emulate PlayStation 3 than PlayStation 2, obviously. But man, I wish I could play this version of the game on the Steam Deck. It still slows down though on the same parts as in the PlayStation 2. But with the extra emulation thing we're kind of screwed now boss fight boss fight and as you can see <laughs> yeah not great the ui though looks fantastic the ui they really knocked it out of the park on this version but other than that just play at least on the steam deck the playstation 2 version it's nice that we have a playstation 3 thing but it's just nice. <laughs> so yeah, kind of sucks that on the PS3 emulator we cannot get it to run optimally. I tried other configurations as well, but I had basically the same results. We are basically CPU limited, which I mean is kind of the norm on PlayStation 3 emulation on the Steam Deck. There are exceptions, of course. It will be interesting to try this on the Rogue Ally. 
that has AVX512, a set of instructions on the CPU that actually makes this make the PS3 emulator run faster. There we go. I was doing it wrong. So I think that will be an interest, interesting comparison. Okay, he just got up. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Gotcha. But I mean, if he runs like this in this Colossi, I, I don't even want to imagine the later ones that are bigger and have more effects on screen. The game still looks pretty good, though. I'll give him that. Okay, I, I regain my health. My health. My stamina. And up we go. And the Steam Deck is hating me right now. It's like, dude, why are you still playing? It runs sub-30 at all times. Very inconsistent. Well, here I am. <laughs> Just to show you how it runs. But I, I love this game. I mean, all jokes aside, it's a great game that I think everybody should play. It's like a big puzzle game which each of the colossus that you have to kill. It's great, but I wouldn't play it on this emulator. Just play it on the PS2, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. The game looks good. It's exactly the same game with worse graphics. I just wish I knew how to lock it to 30 on PS2. That would be interesting to have more consistency. But otherwise, that's how you play Shadow of the Colossus on Steam Deck. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did revisiting this game that I really, really like. And I got a trophy. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.